Hello everyone, welcome to issue 15 of our news editor. And this is our exclusive video for our email subscribers. Before we begin, I'd just like to thank you all for supporting the channel and helping us to grow. And also, if you've come on to hear via seeing some of the older episodes, thanks very much. I hope you enjoy it. As you know, this is basically to give everybody a heads up on what's coming up in the future, any uh, of our contributors' projects that are going on, and guest streams, and basically what we've got planned. So that's the purpose of these videos, and every so often there'll be little anecdotes uh, talking about the state of broadcasting etc etc just for whatever is the topic of the week so uh, thanks everyone again that's subscribed and joined you and uh, part of the list thanks guys it's always appreciated and also we're getting new subscribers every week and uh, notice just the little bars creeping up and getting more uh, watchers so thanks everyone who's coming on board like i said it's it's amazing right so let's start off guest streams i will be appearing on rx oliver's channel saturday the 3rd of february we're going to be playing a little bit of vampire the masquerade now, if you've uh, heard me talk about this game before, I'm not a massive fan. Not because of the game itself, the game's actually quite interesting, it's well thought out and there's a lot to it, just mainly the players it attracts. So with this being the group groups of people I've played with before, I kind of know their attitude, I know they've, they've come with a good spirit to the game, so I'm hopeful that I uh, get a good experience and maybe uh, reinterest me, uh, reinvigor, reinvigor my interest back in the game. But I can nearly speak, can't I? For God's sake. This is my third attempt, by the way, doing this video. I'm <laughs> just having one of them days, so deepest apologies. Right, yeah, so uh, that'll be cool. I don't know what the score is, whether it's going to be broadcast or recorded for later, but what I've done anyway is give you the link to Rx Oliver's Discord channel. Join there if you're thinking of just maybe joining the game yourself, not necessarily for streaming, but there's loads of stuff going on in the Discord channels. You'll find you'll join one, you'll join about three or four the whole network of us that work together. You're more than welcome. Right then, on to to our live streams. Uh, Sunday the 4th we're going to be covering a Drag Me to Hell by Sam Raimi and that's going to be Cameron, Steve, Chris and myself. So a little panel there to go over uh, all these absolute classics. Should be a laugh. Steve actually uh, mentioned it originally and I know Cameron is a massive Raimi fan. As am I but I mean he is next level and if I reviewed that one without involving him he was going to get annoyed. <laughs> so it was only right to here let's let's organise this for Sunday and we'll, we'll get a few of us on board. But there you go uh, that's going to be happening on Sunday. Tuesday Tuesday the 6th of February we're going to be carrying on with the Alien RPG, the Draconis Screen Trilogy, Session 7 and that's going to be the Destroyer of Worlds segment. Of course that's in conjunction with Brotherhood of the Dice and Infinite Monkey Tales. Now, you just need to be there for that one. If you saw my unboxing video, a copy of this is going to be given away during the stream. Uh, this is uh, the one is sealed that's all wrapped up ready to go but uh if you saw my unboxing video from feely games they basically sent me a whole bunch of stuff and as i already have the box set i'm going to give that one uh, the one they sent me away so brand new sealed not opened even if you're not into rpgs or never played before it's a nice box set and actually if you're gonna if you have a chance to win something for free why not at least then you can check it out and see what it's all you know actually see what it's all about this particular box set i have done an unboxing video of it separately uh when i got it a lot of stuff in it so uh, have a look check it out go back to the channel uh, check out my unboxing videos uh you'll see the alien starter set and you'll see all that's in it and for the price it's amazing value and then you can check out the free league games unboxing one where you saw everything that they sent me to you're busy just just for playing the games on the channel and promoting it no other reason they reached out amazing i'm still blown away by that <laughs> by the way folks uh it just kind of goes to show that we're doing something and getting noticed by people and you guys are the ones that are helping every time you uh like and subscribe and share the videos out and all that fun stuff uh, it just helps us grow and couldn't be more grateful to you. Right, Thursday the 8th of February then, uh, Dell and I are back with our series of the Peter Jackson uh, filmography and we're going to be doing The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. It's going to be kind of bittersweet because these films are not great and unfortunately it's the last three films he actually directed. You know, he's doing documentaries now but um, kind of going to finish up on a low point really but we'll have a look at these and maybe looking at them in isolation, not comparing them to Lord of the Rings because I think that's the the first thing you did, you compared it to Lord of the Rings, you went, why was that so good and this wasn't? But we'll dive into it and obviously we'll talk about it. Just take each movie, take a breath, have a look at it. Right then, Monday the 12th of February, 
Steve and I are going to be looking at classic horror. I haven't quite officially decided the name on the segment, but we've finished the Amicus uh, anthologies. So what we decided, we're going to look at sort of classic 60s, 70s, early 80s horror. So we're going to do Carry On Screaming. If you're not familiar, Carry On series... Uh, there was um, about 60, 70 films they did. Uh, it, was a, it was a comedy trick and they basically made uh, films and it just covered everything. That was always the thing, carry on and then the rest of the title. Um. <laughs> I was a product of his time, you know, if you don't get British humour, if you don't get like 60s British humour, you mightn't understand it, but I grew up in this stuff, absolutely loved it, so <laughs> no apologies there, but we'll talk about it and uh, let's see if it still holds up. Then Saturday the 2nd of March, I'm going to be doing Horrific Chat, uh, this is a bit of a different one, so I was approached by the Seattle chapter of the Horror Writers Association, Rihanna who's been on the show before and obviously some of her stories have been featured in Horrific Tales. Basically uh, this is going to be a chat slash workshop, a bit of a hybrid between the two but a lot of the members are interested in becoming reviewers, some may have done one or two but they're really just stepping into it. So the purpose of this chat is the mindset, basically why are you going to become a reviewer, why, why do you review other people's work? We'll look at, that's the beginning thing, why do you want to do it? We'll sort of talk about that. Then we'll talk about what are you going to review. So what's going to be your primary thing? So it should be movies, books, etc. You need to start somewhere. The mistake people make is try to be all things to all people, and then they overcommit themselves and they burn out before they even begin. And then what format? You know, we'll look at that. So there's loads of different ways to review. There's blogs, there's videos, there's live streams like I do. You know, it's about picking what's right for you. So once again, we'll talk about that. So if you've ever considered becoming a reviewer or you're starting out and I know there's quite a few creators uh, look at this channel and maybe it's something they've uh, thought about but we're worth, worth joining in. It's the first time I've run like a workshop in this setting if that makes sense uh, so it's a bit of a difference between just chatting to people and asking questions and or even the discussion, the topical discussion we've done. This is something a little bit different. This is more of a, okay, you want to do this thing, what's the plan of action, and then we'll take it from there. What I'm going to offer up after that is the, the members of that chat. If they decide they want to do video reviews of something, then they can pick one and come back on the channel and do it. So there's a lot to, when you're starting this stuff up, it can be quite intimidating. There's quite a bit of logistics, setup etc starting your channel starting your blog you know what i mean you, you've quite a bit of work to put in and that's uh, on top of the actual review so what i've always offered for our contributors is come on to the channel you know what i mean i have everything set up i've i've been through the pain for <laughs> four years now and i've got that set up so if someone wants to practice uh is that the right word no it's not that's that sounds awful uh somebody wants to maybe do a review that haven't done one before have a try out if that makes sense always welcome that way a i've done these i'm nauseam now so I sort of lead the conversation, but it means I've done all the background, it's set up, all people have to do is come on in and just chat, and then get comfortable with that. So there's two elements to this, you know what I mean, there's actually being in front of this little thing, and this thing, being personable, and talking about what you're interested in, and getting your points across, that's all one side, but then the other side's all of the logistics and the technical stuff in the background, and that can be intimidating for folks, so I always say, if you can, join somebody else's stream first, that way you can get the practice outside of things while you're figuring out the technical aspect, and then eventually it just uh, comes together, and then you can start. Uh, some people is quicker than others, some people have already got backgrounds and do vlogs and blogs, so everyone's different, and there's no barrier to entry, that's the thing I always say, you know, if you've got the right attitude and you're interested in something, nothing should stop you doing it, always have a go. But that'll be an, that'll be an interesting one, that's definitely something different I'll be doing that I haven't done on this channel before, and if it works out, obviously I'll do more, you know, no no doubts about it. It's all about what people are interested in taking part in, um, what you folks are interested in seeing, and it's all part of the creative process. So there you go, um, bit of an interesting time ahead of us, and of course, they didn't say this is an exclusive list, more things will pop up in between, so that's why we do this every week, because <laughs> you'll find next week will be a different list, because uh, someone else will have popped up and said, oh by the way, what about this, or <laughs> obviously looking at movies and games etc myself, that'll always happen, so there you go, thanks everyone for tuning in, just like you can say, keep updating the channel, do the type of thinky things, until next time, keep it creepy, keep it horrific.